Fun. Here I am. The bun behind Excalibur. So, the video is late. I apologize for that. It is really early today. Well, I decided I'm going to get her out of the way right now. And, yeah, so, okay. It's a celebration for 100 followers. Actually, it's been 130 this morning. Where do you walk? Where did you come from? Like, like you know, am, am I actually that entertaining? I didn't think I was, but okay. Well, thank you, first of all. But no, no, really, like, where the hell did you all come from? Uh, this is this is the time wherein I answer your questions, not not the other way around. So beginning at the beginning. The uh, most commonly asked question I got actually was uh, why did you decide on Excalibur as a mute? First off, I didn't. He, uh, as he does, he kind of just showed up. So, you know. I like him, second of all, so I, he showed up and I kept him. That's kind of how that went. That's better. The next one is, how did you develop your personal head? Regarding him. I, I honestly couldn't give you a straight answer on that one. I, uh, I think of them and Excalibur, my Excalibur at least, as a branch off of myself, as the news often is. I'd be worried if it wasn't. Kind of just tells me. Next is that, uh, out of all the crazy stories he tells, how much of it is true and how much is embellishment or fabrication? Yes. In Soviet Russia, does Excalibur wield you? Yes. Actually, if, uh, if you've been paying attention, the, the provisions that I toss out there every now and then, provision number 503 actually is Excalibur wield. Next, would also another common one is uh, what is Excalibur's most important provision? Excalibur will tell you that that one is uh, you must listen to the five hour storytelling party. I, uh, I don't really, I don't really agree. But that's what he'll tell you, but uh, personally, I think that uh, his most important one is number 1000. Excalibur reserves the right to disregard any and all previous provisions at any given time. Which is probably how he gets away with half or all of the shit he does. Let's see. Next was uh, Why do you think Excalibur chooses to live in a cave? Well, two reasons. First, to challenge the people who want to find him. You know, make sure they're either really determined or really lucky. Or both. Next, he probably just really enjoys pissing off the fairies that live in that cave. It's probably both. Knowing him. Yeah. How many languages can the man speak? Uh, let's see. English, bad English, sarcasm, one. I speak one. Let's see. 
as the Mun had in his use prior to Excalibur. Both prior and since. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if so, do they run any other RP blogs? Yes. Yes, I do. I, uh, I'm assuming since you bothered to ask that you want me to list a few of them. So, you can see there's Elton End, the, the Dragon King, which uh, my bro Al often well plays with, which, by the way, here's to you, Al. Love you, bro. Now then. After Eltonin, there is Regulus, the uh, incarnation of the constellation Leo. Then, let's see, there's Frank Castle, the Punisher. Uh, Loki, not, not Marvel Loki, the, uh, the original Norse god Loki. Way more of a bastard. And also less uh, less easy. Anyway, mm -hmm. Let's see. there's also the Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, and Drist Dilverden. Next, from an anonymous Professor Oak. Are you a boy or a girl? Did you meet Selena? Selena, for those of you who don't know, is my girlfriend. Who I live with. Yeah, I met her on Tumblr, actually. I, uh, I actually met her on my Frank Castle blog. Again, that, that's the Punisher. And uh, she was role playing as Catwoman. Next question from Al was, how glad are you to be back in Washington? Again, for those of you who don't know, uh, Selena did live in Ohio, and I wound up moving out there for a few months before bringing her back to Washington with me. Pretty glad, Al. Pretty glad. Ohio itself is okay. The particular area I was in was really redneck, not really all that good, and her mom is kind of insufferable. But Al, you know this from the stories I've told you. Adam, who are your favorite RP partners? Leave it to Al to put me in the spotlight multiple times. See, there's obviously Selena. There's you, Al. Uh, let's see. There's Izzy, Justin Nunn, uh, Maka Nunn, and Kishin Asura Nunn.
fantastic. I haven't really roleplayed with very many other people. Mm. Let's see. Next, which muse is the loudest? Excalibur. Let's see, your favorite muse. I love all of my muses. Uh, I love them all. <coughs> Sorry about that, but a uh, horribly unrefined moment was brought to you by, well, me. <clears throat> anyway, if I had to pick an absolute favorite muse, it would probably be Drist. Mm -hmm. The muse that annoys you the most. Uh, well it's actually not Excalibur. It's actually Sun Wukong. Not not because not because Sun Wukong is annoying, but because he shows up very infrequently and sporadically. Let's see. Which muse are you the most like? I've, I've actually been likened to both Loki and Drist on occasion, both pretty equally, however when I'm in a really silly mood I'm more likened to Excalibur. And uh, let's see, Al, your, these next two aren't really questions, but uh, let's see. First of all, Al Sporks! Yes, Sporks are awesome. I used to have a collection of Sporks. No, I do not. Let's see. And do your best Excalibur impression. Oh, Al. My legend began in the 12th century. Fool! Do you want to hear my legend or not? My mornings begin with a cup of coffee with cream. And there it is. Not the best, but it's what I got. What other anime do you like other than Soul Eater? This is actually Kishin when asking, not, not Al. Let's see, other than Soul Eater. Uh, let's see. Bleach, Cousin of Stigma. Dragon Ball Z was actually my first anime, so it will always hold the placement of my first favorite. Um, Vendred. Vendred is always good. Um, let's see, for bloody gory reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and say Bludgeoning Angel Gokuro-chan. That one's always nice when you're in the mood for blood. Uh, Gun X Sword is always good. Um, Naruto, to some degree. I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's see, um, hamburgers or hot dogs? Hamburger! No, in, a, in all seriousness, not hamburgers. I, I actually do take an amount of pride in the burgers that I can make. And the last question, asking if Excalibur is a virus. No, no, Excalibur is not a virus. No. No, not at all. No. Oh, 
Anyway, that, uh, that concludes the one video. Thank you for watching, thank you for following, and thank you for asking. And hopefully for the future, thank you for talking to me. So, yeah, going to go ahead and say it once more. Shout out to Al, that's bronzeguardian.tumblr.com. I know quite a few of my followers already follow him, but... Oh, by the way, Bronze Guardian is all one word, for those of you who don't follow him. Go follow that motherfucker. And again, love you, bro. No, no, I, I do. Okay. Adios.